Today we're going to be installing our high flow suction tube. This is part number WAP109. These will be standard and 220 gallon per hour up systems. We first locate a flat spot on the top of the fuel tank. We're going to use our step bit to drill a one inch hole. You can see I'm marking it with a sharpie to verify that I don't go too deep with the step bit. We're also going to use a cup, if this was in the truck, to catch any shavings that fall down to the tank. We can do this through the fuel module hole on the top of the fuel tank. Now that we have drilled our hole, we need to remove the nut and lock washer and sealing washer off of the bottom of the draw straw and install it for measuring. We're going to measure from the top of the fuel tank to the arrow as shown and then add a quarter of an inch. Okay, we're marking it, it's about five and a quarter. So we're going to take a drill bit and drill four holes. We'll only be drilling twice, but we're going to make four total holes crisscross on our line. We're going to start here with a smaller drill bit and then work our way up to a larger drill bit. Now that our holes will drill, we will need to mark in the middle of the holes. This is where we're going to be cutting the draw straw. Use safety glasses and cut the draw straw. This half moons will allow the suction tube to never get stuck to the bottom of the tank. Use a file to deburr any sharp or loose plastic on the draw straw and then install into the fuel tank. You can see we've got perfect length. The tank will belly down a little bit once it is filled full of fuel. We're going to install our lock washer and our nut. Be sure to orient the draw straw the direction that you want it before final tightening. Your high flow suction tube is now installed.